नमस्ते मेड फ्रेंड्स रेफर यू नाउ टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई कंटिन्यूशन फ्रॉम द एलियर सेशन इन द एलियर क्लास आई रेफर द टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई रिगार्डिंग सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स इज कंसिडर वेर द फॉरवर्ड चार्ज अप्लाइज द डेट ऑफ इनवाइस और लास्ट डेट टू इश्यू द इनवाइस इज द टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई इन द केस ऑफ ऑनलाइन मनी गेमिंग और स्पेशली स्पेसिफाइड एक्शनबल क्लेम्स आर कंसिडर दिस इज एन अमेंडमेंट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी विच सेज दट द डेट ऑफ इनवाइस or the date of last date issue invoice or the date of payment among the whichever is earlier in the case of specified actionable claims up to this in the last class we discussed now referring furthermore now referring to you here a simplified one here amount up to rupees 1000 in excess of the amount indicated in the tax invoice received meaning thereby If I issued the tax invoice for twelve thousand one hundred for my supply of goods, assume twelve thousand five hundred rupees, thousand one hundred rupees, thousand one hundred rupees value of the goods I supplied and issued invoice. My recipient, my buyer, given back to me thirteen thousand rupees. How much I received excess over and above invoice value? 900 which is not exceed 1000 rupees if that is the case what is the time of supply for the 900 at the option of the supplier he can decide the time of supply at the time of issue of a invoice after the receipt of the payment is the time of supply at the option of the supplier coming to the continuous supply of goods what do you mean by continuous supply of goods we have definition section to sub section 32 continuous supply of goods means supply of goods which is provided or agreed to be provided continuously or on recurring basis under a contract whether or not means of a wire cable pipeline or other conduct any mode of transportation of goods namely supply of goods through wire Through cable, through pipeline, like a gas supply through pipeline, is called as continuous supply of goods. What is the time of supply? As rightly here, definition stated that there must be an agreement which is provided or agreed to provided continuously on a recurring basis under a contract, whether or not by means of wire, cable, pipeline, other conduct, as the case may be. or any other cases where the government can declare that so and so so and so is a supply is a continuous supply like that government has the power to declare now in the given case my dear one should understand the date of issue of invoice as per section 31 sub section 4 date of issue of invoice in the case of continuous supply of goods the invoice shall be issued before or at the time of such statement is issued or as the case may be each such statement is received that means invoice should be issued on or before or at the time of such statement issued or as the case may be the payment received therefore time of supply i simplify by saying that the time of supply here in case of supply of goods continuous supply of goods is considered time of supply is equal to when each statement is issued or time when each statement is received namely each payment is received repeating the time when statement is issued or the time when the payment is received among the two whichever is earlier is considered as time of supply is considered as time of supply how to understand this practically if you refer my friends i will explain to you practically one simple example sir if you take a construction contract construction contract means supply of service leave it in case of supplying the goods continuously through pipeline in a particular let us say oil supplying supplying the oil through pipeline Or supplying the gas through pipeline, 
Where what happened throughout the year, 365 days, there is a supply of goods taken place. But there must be a cut-off date to receive the payment by supplier or not. Otherwise, how the survival takes place for the supplier? In that case, supplier says, hey, Mr. Recipient of the goods, every month, first of every month, I will submit the statement for the supply made during that month. You please make the payment every month by 5th. So, date of statement when? First. Date of payment when? Fifth. Now, payment made by supplier. When the payment made? Fifth. When the statement submitted? First of the given month. For the month of September, first of September, statement is submitted. Payment received? Fifth of September. Which is the earlier? Date of submission of statement. Namely, first September. That is the time of supply because that is the last date to issue the invoice. Got the clarity? Suppose payment due date 5th of September. Statement is required to submit on 1st of September. Huh. Here, statement also submitted 1st of September. But payment received on 31st of August, well before this, in that case, date of payment is the time of supply. Because here, invoice should be issued or not before or at the time of such statement. On or before or at the time of such statement is issued or as the case may be, such payment received. Invoice should be issued before the statement date or the date of statement date or date of payment, whichever is earlier. If 31st of August payment received, statement due date is 1st of September. In that case, 31st August is well in advance. Therefore, time of supply goes to 31st of August. Sir, how to understand this with the help of a numeric example? I am bringing here a numeric example for your kind consideration, just look and understand. The example read as follows. X limited supply of the gas through pipeline continuously to customers. Monthly payment are made by the recipient as per the contract. Every quarter, a statement of the goods dispatched and payment made is issued and the receipt has, recipient has to pay the differential amount if any. Point number 1, 5th August, 5th September, 6th October, payment received 2 lakh rupees each. So, every month, 5th of August, 5th of September, 5th of, uh, sorry, 6th of October, payment how much received? 2 lakh rupees received in each month for the quarter July to September. Second point, 3rd October, Statement of account for the quarter July to September is issued. So, now you have to understand as per the section 31, subsection 4 of the CGST Act, invoice when should I should? Invoice should be issued before or at the time of statement or at the time of payment result, whichever is earlier. Invoice should be issued. So, time of supply is also goes in the following manner. Before or at the time of statement submit or payment received, whichever is earlier. If you refer here, 2 lakh rupees payment received 5th of August. Statement when submitted 3rd of October. So, which is earlier? 5th of August. For 2 lakhs, time of supply 5th of August. I too clearly mentioned here, first time of supply for 2 lakhs is 5th of August. Okay. Further, Second payment received in this next month, 5th of September. Date, date of submission of statement, 3rd October. If so, 5th of September or 3rd October, which is earlier? Payment is earlier for 2 lakhs, which is 5th of September. Is the time of supply. Then, coming to October month, payment 2 lakh rupees received in the month of October, 6th of October. But, statement when submitted, 3rd October. 3rd October or the 
6th of October. Payment received 2 lakhs 6th October. Statement submitted 3rd of October. Which is earlier? Statement date 3rd October is the time of supply for the 2 lakhs. They said 2 lakhs, not only 2 lakhs, but also 2 lakhs 56,000, which includes 2 lakhs. Statement of account for the quarter July to September is issued by the supplier showing the amount 2 lakh 56 is unpaid. Out of 2 lakh 50 is unpaid amount, 2 lakhs paid on 6th of October. Statement issued for 2 lakh 56,000 is on 3rd of October. So, for the entire 2 lakh 56,000, date of issue of the statement 3rd October, which is earlier than that of 6th of October. Therefore, 3rd of October is the time of supply for the entire value of balance unpaid 2 lakh 56,000 on 3rd October. That is the time of supply. In case of continuous supply of goods. Further, any doubt my dear friends in the given case? Any doubt in the given case? I am asking to my beloved friends, please answer to me, please. No, sir. No, sir. Of, yes, uh, continuous supply of goods, simple amma, invoice should be issued before or at the time of submission of statement or at the time of receipt of the payment. Then time of supply, time of each statement submitted or time when the payment is issued. Amount of whichever is earlier is the time of supply, as simple as that. Further referring to here, continuous supply of this after that, I am referring here, goods sent on are taken on approval for sale or return basis. Goods sent on sale or return basis. Sir, as you are aware of that as an accountant, when there is supply of goods only on sale or return basis, are you going to issue the invoice being accountant? Absolutely not because I do not know whether the buyer is going to be accept my supply or not. I am sending, I am sending the goods to the buyer premises whether to accept or not to accept is up to the buyer decision. So, I am a seller of laptops, 10 laptops I supplied to my buyer place. When I supplied 1st January 2024 supplied. That time I do not know whether the buyer is going to be purchase all the 10 laptops or out of 10 laptops. Two laptops he will purchase, balance 8 he return, or until 10 laptops he is going to return. I really do not know at the time of supply of my goods, which is called as sale or return basis, goods has been sent. In that case, which is not a sale in the accounts, sale which is not a supply under the GST law. Also, if the goods are sent on sale or return basis, sale or approval basis. Taken an approval for sale or return basis, like that if the goods sent to the buyer premises, which is not a sale under the financial accounts, that is also be not a supply under the GST law. However, if the buyer accepts out of my 10 laptops, 2 laptops, when accepted, let us say 1st of February, when I sent 10 laptops 1st of January. So, 1st of February, he confirmed to purchase 2 laptops. That is the time of supply for the 2 laptops. Balance 8 laptops, he written back to me on 1st February. In that case, I should identify time of supply only for the 2 laptops. The date on which I am going to issue the invoice. As per section 31, subsection 7. Sir, when you refer, Section 31, subsection 7 of the CGC says date of invoice is before or at the time of supply, before supply or at the time of supply or the first day that occurs after the expiry of 6 months from the date of dispatch among the three whichever is earlier. That means invoice can be issued. Before supply takes place, invoice can be issued at the time of supply takes place, invoice can be issued at least the first day after expiry of 60, after, after expiry of 6 months from the date of removal. So, among the whichever is earlier will be taken as time of supply. That means invoice should be issued before supply or at the time of supply. Or 
six months ends from the date of dispatch among the three which is earlier within which we have to show invoice so the date of invoice is a time of supply if it is in accordance with section 31 sub section 7 in that case here i presented just look in understandable manner date of invoice if the invoice is issued before supply or at the time of supply in accordance with section 31 7 section 31 sub 7 says invoice should be issued before supply at the time of supply or six months ends from the date of supply among the three whichever is earlier sir in that case date of invoice or first day that occurs after expiry of six months from the date of invoice issue of goods from the date of dispatch of the goods among to whichever is earlier i simplified this by saying that date of invoice you refer in the case goods sent on sale or approval basis refer the 60 sorry to say six months from the date of dispatch which is earlier sir date of invoice earlier sir time of supply sir invoice not issued sir oh in that case six months becomes earlier that means from the date of dispatch six months are completed sir but invoice not issued sir in that case the first day that occurs after expiry of six months from the date of dispatch of the goods is the time of supply i will bring the example here for a kind consideration i will bring the example in the given case easily understand look here my dear sir bringing to notice one example where here goods sent goods sent on sale or return basis in that case if there is a case i am bringing here let's say messrs Bharat Limited supplied goods that is 10 laptops to let us say Mrs. Info Limited for Info Limited on sale or return basis on 1st January 2024 if there is a case my dear that is not a supply there is not a sale also as you are aware of that I am right for that so up to this if there is a case I will say that in the given case it is not a supply as on that it is not a supply very good further Mrs. Info Limited accepted to buy to buy two laptops on first on first Feb twenty twenty four. For example, then supply taken place for two laptops two laptops separate taking place on what date on first Feb 2024 balance here the balance is the no balance eight laptop sent back on First Feb 2024. So here time of supply, so time of supply for two laptops, two laptops is equal to the date of acceptance. That means first of Feb 24. That means invoice should be issued on or before 1st Feb 24. Assume 
in the given case in the given case in the given case invoice issued on 1st feb 2024 compare with the two laptops 6 months from the date of dispatch means what first of january dispatch no 6 months and on 30th june 2024 whichever is earlier for example i am going to present here suppose suppose if mrs bharat limited issued invoice on let us say 10th july 2024 for two laptops two laptops accepted to by accepted by mrs info limited what is two laptops accepted to by mr i mean info limited on first february invoice not issued till the end of 6 months from the date of dispatch in the given case when issued 10th of july 24 is issued in that case in that case here time of supply as aware of that date of invoice what date of invoice 10th July, tenth July, twenty twenty four, or first day after expiry of six months from the from the date of dispatch. Here, whichever. is earlier got the clarity eight laptops written back for which no time of supply so i mean to say that time of supply for supply of goods which is sent on sale or return basis at the time of sending the laptops that goods not a time of supply not a sale subsequently buyer accepted that is the time of supply if the invoice issued on or before the date invoice not an issued for a period of 6 months from the date of dispatch then obviously the first day that occurs after expiry of 6 months from the date of dispatch is the time of supply in the given case sir 10 laptops sent sir on 1st january 24 till today till 22nd september 2024 that will not at all returned sir not accepted not returned sir in that case it was not possible to issue okay but under the gst law time of supply arises which is the first day that occurs after expiry of 6 months from the date of dispatch this is what the time of supply in case of supply of goods where goods sent on sale or return basis now referring further my dear friends for a kind consideration look here after this goods sent on sale or approval basis time of supply date of invoice or first day that occurs after expiry of 6 months from date of removal namely from date of dispatch which is earlier any doubt up to this point friends any doubt quickly respond to me any doubt no sir no sir okay very good very good 